Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hello everyone, hope you had a good Friday looking at VRX on the daily, weekly, and then we'll zoom in on the five minute time frame. So the last video I did for VRX, I was highlighting the weekly middle Bollinger Band support. And apologies, Bulls, this is not going to be a video that you're going to enjoy. It's clearly a bearish trend over the past five weeks, and it's pretty weak. So at worst case, it could be a lesson in stop losses, even if you're long the stock, bullish the fundamental story, whatever it is. That's fine, but you can have stop losses in place at key resistance levels, get stopped out, and then plan your re-entry. So at this point, it's just been nothing but lower highs and lower lows on this pullback. Every bounce attempt gets rejected. We had our first little period of two green days in a row in a month, and it was met with two very bearish days, and I call them very bearish because look at the bear volume those two days compared to the bull volume the previous two days, and look at where we closed. It's a, almost a red Marabozu candlestick here, and then today we did close right down at the low. So all moving averages are resistance, and it's really looking like we're beelining it right to this gap fill at 2270 and we'll see if we do end up at that price the lower bollinger band is holding as support but that's rapidly descending the weekly time frame i was looking at that middle bollinger band because it's been resistance for so long i thought if the bulls would gain it as support we'd see some nice further upside and this candlestick last week had me paying attention this week i've been watching vrx very closely every day and did not see any follow through from that bullish doji off that weekly time frame and it's a red Mario Bozu here on the weekly. So held off, told everyone to be very patient waiting for this bullish entry. And it's nowhere near getting my personal seal of approval. And I'm going to need to see a nice bullish reversal candlestick getting that middle Bollinger band back. But right now on the weekly, we're looking down at the next support of the previous week back here, early August 2211. So big ways down before that next weekly support. So we'll have to see if some of these previous price or the gap fill... We're down here at 2071. Either way, there's not a lot of support down here. So we'll see if the Bulls can turn things around. They're going to have to get over this middle Bollinger Band on the daily time frame to prove anything to me, along with that middle Bollinger Band on the weekly. So clearly the middle Bollinger Band is an important moving average for me personally. So looking at the five-minute chart, there were some clear indications today. Pretty volatile in the first, oh, 30 minutes of trading. But once it did establish its range... We could see the channel that formed on the five minute chart. This is the 100 period support and the 200 period resistance. You can see we made a bullish move, a nice break of the high of the day. We had clear resistance, 2544, 2544, 2544, a triple top. You think you break that and you're good to go for the bulls, but it was very short lived. We only saw a 10 cent move to the upside before a bearish reversal inverted hammer was confirmed and then losing the 20 period moving average support was the deal breaker and look at the big bear volume certainly standing out against any bull volume in the previous hour dropping through the support we had bounced off the 100 period support a couple times fell right through it weak back test attempt didn't even touch that resistance now and then continued lower highs and lower lows for the rest of the day that was the clear bearish break and certainly no sign of the bulls into the close so that does suggest further downside is likely coming on monday and we'll see how that goes. Going to be watching from a distance, putting it on the back burner. This is the kind of chart that I'll check in at the end of every day, maybe every other day. And we'll keep an eye on the weekly. But no immediate plans for bullish entry until the bulls can prove some strength to me. So I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the likes and the shares. It makes a difference. And I hope you have a great weekend. See you soon.